from crazy volcanic lightning to bizarre clouds and fire tornadoes. Here are 19 types of weird and cool natural phenomena. Welcome to Weird Wonders Wednesday. And before we get started, here's a shout out for Aiden Elton, letting us know he's become an epic wildlife subscriber. Thanks for that sub, mate. That is just what we like to hear. And we hope you like this episode. Drop us a comment down below, and thanks for all that support out there. Cheers. Number 19. Light pillar. As with some of the other optical phenomena on our list, this effect is the result of light being reflected off of minute ice crystals suspended in the clouds in the atmosphere. When the light source is the sun, the effect is called a sun pillar. It delivers the optical illusion of a vertical band of light that extends high into the sky. It's also possible to see moon pillars, although that effect is less common. Moonbow. Now this is also called a lunar rainbow, and it's a rarely seen phenomenon. It's basically a rainbow produced by moonlight, as opposed to sunlight. And aside from the light source, its formation exactly matches that of the more common rainbow. Because there's less light reflected from the moon's surface, moonbows are much fainter than the solar counterparts, and sometimes appear white. They were first noted around 350 BC at least. Sun dogs. Not unlike fire rainbows, sun dogs are huge halos in the sky that form as a result of sunlight refracted by ice crystals, which act like prisms in the atmosphere, located to the left or right of the sun. The sun can also be flanked by two sun dogs within a halo. If the blips are bright enough, it can appear like there's actually three suns in the sky. As for why they're called sun dogs, you know, we couldn't find a definitive answer. What do you think? Hole punch clouds. Now this is caused by the effect of sub-zero temperatures interacting with water droplets in the clouds that haven't yet frozen due to a scarcity of ice particles. When those ice particles do form quickly, a domino effect is created as water droplets connect with the crystals. The crystals get heavier and suddenly fall, and that leaves an enormous hole in the cloud. Green flash. Now this sounds like it could be a mashup of comic book superheroes, but the term refers to optical phenomena that tend to occur just after sunrise or right before sunset, and it lasts for no more than a couple of seconds. It's typically visible as a green spot above the rim of the sun, but on rare occasion, it can resemble a green ray that shoots from its point of origin. The effect is a result of atmospheric conditions that cause the sun's light to separate into different colors. Penitentes. These strangely shaped snow formations are found at high altitudes with low humidity, like glaciers of the Andes Mountains. They take the shape of thin, elongated blades, and each individual shard can measure up to 16 feet. The spires of snow and ice also tend to point in the general direction of the sun. But did you know that NASA researchers think that formations similar to penitentes could exist on Jupiter's satellite Europa? The Belt of Venus. Just before sunrise or just after sunset are the best times to observe this atmospheric phenomenon. That's when an impressive pinkish colored band appears that extends for about 20 degrees above the horizon. The glow is often seen separated from the horizon by a dark bluish layer in the sky, which experts say is actually the Earth's shadow. That shadow is cast by the planet itself onto its atmosphere. Fire Rainbows. Contrary to its nickname, this site has nothing to do with fire or with rainbows. The multicolored offshoots are actually an enormous halo of refracted light. Sunlight interacts with ice crystals suspended in cirrus clouds, and the result is a large, bright spectrum colored band that appears to run parallel to the horizon. Now, just so you know, this optical phenomenon is officially called a circumhorizontal arc, but Fire Rainbow seems to be a more colorful term and easier to pronounce. 
lenticular clouds. So is this a UFO or some other kind of extraterrestrial craft? No, nope, they're just lenticular clouds. The lens-shaped formation usually manifests on the downward side of a mountain range or mountain. When moist, stable air flows over a mountain, it creates a series of oscillating waves, giving us those spectacular UFO-like shapes in the sky. bioluminescent wives. The surreal sight of glowing blue water wasn't photoshopped or digitally manipulated. It's the result of a massive tide of bioluminescent marine plankton, or dinoflagellates. When the minuscule organisms get stressed for whatever reason, they start emitting that blue light. It's also referred to as the Milky Seas effect. Some people have even called it Smurf Surf. Does it make you feel blue? Snow Donuts. Now it kind of looks like somebody made a huge peppermint lifesaver from out of the snow. But while it does show up in the snow, the phenomenon is a naturally occurring one, albeit a rare one. More properly called a snow roller, they're actually huge snowballs. They form when chunks of snow are blown across the ground by the wind. They pick up material along the way, not unlike the way you'd roll up snow to make a snowman or a snowball. Because it forms in a cylindrical shape, they're usually hollow in the middle giving it that donut-like appearance. Mammatus clouds. Now, these ominous-looking cloud formations resemble a cluster of pouches or hanging lobes. They typically hang underneath the base of clouds that are associated with severe storm fronts, so their appearance is often regarded as a harbinger of bad weather. Formed primarily from ice, these odd shapes can stretch for over hundreds of miles in each direction. Columna Basalt. Located in Northern Ireland, the Giant's Causeway provides an excellent example of columna basalt. The formations resulted as lava flows cracked while they were cooling, and the network of fractured rock appears like formations of columns. The site contains some 40,000 such interlocking columns, the tallest of which are some 39 feet high. The solidified lava in the cliffs can be 92 feet thick in places. While science says it's all the result of an ancient volcanic eruption, the legend has a different take. A giant supposedly built a causeway there, hence the name, and these columns are all that remain. Catatumbo Lightning. There is only one place in the world where this atmospheric phenomenon occurs, over the mouth of the Catatumbo River in Venezuela. The ongoing powerful flashes of lightning occur on average up to 297 days a year and sometimes up to 280 times per hour. Scientists think the phenomenon could be due to wind patterns and local topography. Thunderclouds could be formed by warm Caribbean winds crashing into cooler air from the Andes, and that results in bursts of energy that could charge all the light bulbs in Latin America. Water spouts. There are two types of water spouts, tornadic water spouts and fair weather. Tornadic water spouts are tornadoes that are formed over water or move from land to water and can have destructive characteristics similar to that of a land tornado. They're often accompanied by high winds and severe thunderstorms. Fair weather water spouts are not associated with thunderstorms, they develop on the water surface and work their way upward, while the tornadic variety will develop downward in a thunderstorm. That narrow vertical funnel shape is caused by wind force changing direction as it goes higher and can move at an average speed of 50 miles per hour. Did you know that water spouts can occur at any location over the world's coastal regions? Fire Tornado it's known by other names like fire whirl, fire twister, or fire nado. It's a whirlwind that can occur when turbulent wind conditions and intense rising heat combine and form whirling eddies of air. Those eddies contract into a structure resembling a tornado that sucks in combustible gases and burning debris. They're often created when a firestorm generates its own wind, which can morph into a vortex of flame. Larger fire whirls can generate wind speeds over 100 miles per hour and reach temperatures exceeding 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. They can last for over an hour and are extremely difficult to extinguish. Aurora. This light display 
provides one of the most spectacular sights in nature. In northern latitudes, the effect is usually called Aurora Borealis, or Northern Lights, a name coined by Galileo. The southern counterpart is termed Aurora Australis, or Southern Lights, and it's almost identical to Aurora Borealis. The spectacular effect is a result of charged protons and electrons falling into the upper atmosphere where they lose energy, which emits light of varying patterns and colors. Did you know that changes in both auroral zones can occur simultaneously. Volcanic lightning. Now the shorthand for this phenomenon is, it's a lightning storm that occurs as a volcano is erupting. But exactly how that eerie effect originates is still not clear. Experts have conjectured that the lightning is the result of ice particles that form inside the plume, or it could be caused by the ash itself, which can generate an electrostatic discharge. It's possible that both mechanisms might create various forms of lightning within erupting volcanoes. Unlike the lightning that forms inside thunderclouds, volcanic lightning usually travels sideways, or travels upward through an ash cloud. Supercell Storm. Now, depending on your mood, this one could look either cool or scary. But since it's a supercell storm, it would not be so cool to get caught up in one. They're the least common, but the most severe type of thunderstorm. They're also called rotating thunderstorms due to the swirling nature and are among the very few cloud types that can produce tornadoes. With the proper pre-existing weather conditions, supercells can develop anywhere in the world, along with tornadoes, this meteorological phenomenon can produce torrential rain and massive amounts of hail.